Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Sopko, you made, a, to me, a, a powerful statement earlier. You said in regard to the reconstruction that we built too much, too fast, with too little oversight. And unfortunately, it appears that that is a nagging negative principle that it seems as though at least many feel the pain uh, that that's a principle our entire government right now seems to embrace. At least many people feel that way. But within the context of that statement, we built too much, too fast, too little oversight. Um, how many infrastructure projects in Afghanistan are currently in development? Congressman, I wouldn't have the, uh, that number. I'll try to find it. But the problem we have is, and this is something we've pointed out for a few years, we don't even know what we built in Afghanistan. Okay. So I can't tell you how many are under construction. We See, don't that's know just what insane. We've we don't even know what we've built. We've got, we, we don't know what's under construction right now. We don't know what we've done. Sir, uh, we do know what's under construction. Now. Okay, what's I mentioned under the munition storage facility for the A29. We also how have many? I don't need the details. Just how, how many projects? I would say it's a handful, sir. I can get the details for you on the specifics. But as I mentioned, it's 1% of the planned budget. And we're not talking about very many new builds at okay, all. Okay, please, if you would get that to me, I would appreciate it. Um, so it, it seems, again, that the overarching problem here is lack of oversight. Where there has been oversight, is it fair to say where there's been oversight, we have had a better outcome? That is absolutely fair to say, sir. That's correct. Okay. So what are we doing to ensure accountability to the American taxpayer that there will be oversight on these current projects and future? So we have increased oversight over the years. I think that if you look at the scope of Mr. Sopko's most recent report, it's, it's – um, relating projects that were from 2009 and some current projects. I think you even see in that report the kind of improvement that we've done in terms of processes and procedures for oversight. There's oversight that happens in the field through C-STICA. Uh, there's also oversight that happens in the department. How long have these things that you're describing, how long have those been in place? They have increased over time. Um, for instance, in the department, we have a um, Afghanistan Resources and Oversight Council that is co-chaired by me, Comptroller, and one of my colleagues from ATNL. That's been in place for I, since I think 2013, and we have to approve uh, projects that are above a certain dollar amount to make sure that it's consistent with our policy, okay. our strategy. All right. Uh, excuse me for for interrupting. I'll just have a couple more questions. So, uh, with that, I mean, time is going to be the test to confirm whether or not these new programs being implemented will provide the accountability needed. Um, but of the projects that have already been built that failed to meet our requirements, did I hear correctly that those contractors were paid in full? I believe that was mentioned earlier. I many, don't. many of them. I said that. That's what we would find. Okay, uh, not inspections. all of them. Sir. All right, not all of them, but many of them were paid in full for inadequate jobs. So again, taxpayer dollars uh, wasted. How many of those projects, uh, both the ones that were completed properly and improperly, how many are currently occupied, or percentage-wise? Are they all occupied? So, sir, of the, um, of the projects that were specifically for the MOI and MOD, which I think Mr. Sopko in his report listed 27 of them, 26 of those are currently occupied and currently being used by the Afghan National Security Forces. One of them was canceled, actually, by the Department of Defense uh, and saving, I think, up to about $10 million in tax. I thought I heard earlier that there were several buildings that were built that were not occupied. Again, part of the we built too much too fast. Oh, yes, and remember, the universe, we only looked at a, a, a few of these buildings. What you really need to do is ask the Department of Defense to tell you of all the buildings they built. Can I ask How that? many are occupied? Can, how many are being used for the purpose that they... Can I ask that, that we get that number? Yes, yes, sir. We'll, we'll I mean, get and it's stunning to me, that, uh, amazing at least, that we, we don't even know what, what all we've built. So, now, sir, how can I, we know what's occupied if we don't even know what we've built? Uh, 
For those uh, projects that we've built for the Afghan military, I think we do know and have good record of what was built. I think where there is a less certainty is are those projects that are that were directed under the Commander's Emergency Response Program, which is an appropriation that's gone down over time and has been managed by individual uh, units in the field, captains, um, colonels, depending on the size of the unit, to undertake immediate need projects like building a well, like walls for school. And so I think that our, our records on that go to the amount of appropriation that was given to a particular unit, not necessarily all specific projects, but we have good data on that and we'll certainly get it to you as a question for the record, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. We'll now recognize the ranking member, Mr. Cummings. Thank you very much.